Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the High Gain series. Yes, we're back <laughs> in the High Gain series. All right, guys, so we have another beauty for you tonight. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, this particular guitar, um, there's usually a really long waiting list to get this luthier to build you something. Um, uh, he's very coveted. Uh, he is in Italy, and uh, we were just very persistent with him and uh, very fortunate that um, we actually got in touch with him. We've been in touch with him for over a year just talking about different stuff, and we got in touch with him. And I was like, man, you sure you don't have nothing for sale? <laughs> you don't have nothing built? And he was like, you know, you know I actually have one that uh, you can buy right now. So uh, we snatched this up. Oh, yeah. This is an Arda Lotus. Excuse me. It's an Arda, Arda Martyr Lotus Shades 7. Seven string multi-scale. Um, just gorgeous yeah. so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the specs with you we're gonna let you hear it in a mix a lot of people have been asking for us to do some cleans even though this is a high gain channel and we're really not we don't really do cleans. so what we did is we put you a a little bit of sound with the unboxing video and it is the cleans of this guitar um, the main guitar is well, the main pickup is the neck pickup and then the backing guitar is the uh bridge pickup so gives you a little bit of an idea of what it sounds like on the clean side now these are super high gain juggernauts so it probably really wasn't designed to do a whole lot of super clean stuff uh, but they came out pretty good so we got that for you we've got a regular mix of it so you can hear what it sounds on uh, our standard patch and man we really wanted to put this on a different patch and because this thing's very mean very aggressive but Trying to be true to the channel, we left everything on our standard kind of EVH patch off the Quad Cortex for you. Um, so what we're going to do real quick like is we're going to try to go over some of these specs and the list is so long that I'm just going to have to read it. So I need a teleprompter. Right. <laughs> so uh, the top of this is flame maple. Um, the body is two pieces of mahogany. Um, my favorite combination is mahogany and maple. Um, the neck is purple heart and black wood, and it's three pieces. Um, the headstock is flame maple also. Doesn't have a cap, the whole headstock, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> All the binding on the guitar is black. Um, it's a set neck joint. Uh, the neck shape is a C thin, and I do want to say something about that. This guitar, the Ashwood, and that Locello 7, they really did good on the necks, man, oh, yeah. because even though they're sevens and they're wider, they're so thin that they play, they almost play like a six string. Mm -hmm. um, the thickness at the first fret of the neck is 19.5. Um, the thickness at the 12th fret is 21 millimeters. The fretboard itself is flamed maple. Um, the radius on this guitar is 17 inch, like our Ashwood is 16 inch. This one's 17. Um, it does have a tusk nut. It's got a dual action truss rod. Um, it's got the two millimeter side dots. Um, 24, obviously the highest stainless steel jumbo frets and it comes with the bare knuckle juggernaut set in it. Um, it's got a hip shot hardtail, which we love mm -hmm. and hip shot tuners locking. <clears throat> All the potentiometers in this guitar are 500 K. Uh, it's got a three way switch and um, it comes with a, uh, 10 Arnie Balls on it. Yeah, it's not bad. This guitar, uh, you know, most of these luthiers are probably at six months. You might get lucky and get one quicker, but most of these, if you're hand building, hand designing these, um, you're probably going to be looking around six months, four to six months to get one of these guitars. We were very fortunate. Um, we paid full price for it. We get nothing because we run a channel. Nope. Um, my, honestly, most of the luthiers, till after we get the guitar, don't even know we run a channel. Yeah. We, don't, we don't even say nothing to them because we don't want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. We just want to buy the guitar. Um, so you've been playing this quite a bit, man. What do you think? Um, I really like it. I like it a lot. Uh, it plays fantastic. Oh, I know. It's. Yeah. Uh, it's. Uh, I've got a chance to play it. I actually did the playing on the on the little demo view, but he's been playing this a lot. Um, 
It is um, the Ashwood, the Reichardt, that Lace- the Lacellos. Mm-hmm. This guitar, not taken yeah. away from anything else we've reviewed, but those four companies, um, if you've never owned anything like that, when you touch it, man, you're, it's, it's a completely different planet, probably from what you're used to playing if you've never messed with anything like this. So, yeah. you know, but I get to thinking about it. I started buying, we started buying these guitars and I was like, I was thinking about it the other night, man. There's probably not very many of them. I'd get up on stage and jump around with it. I'd be scared to mess them up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe it is kind of counterproductive to do that. I don't know. I, I don't know. know. Wrap it in some bubble wrap when you play it, just in case. Yeah, right. Right. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to shut up. We're going to let you see the unboxing of the guitar to see how we got it. It does come from Italy. Um, and he shipped this on like late Monday night. On a Monday night, I got confirmation Tuesday morning. It was here freaking Friday. It's not bad. From freaking Italy. Mm-hmm. And we're in America, if you ain't figured it out. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll let you see the unboxing video. Like I said, there's a little cleans behind it. You'll hear a little something that when we come back. Um, we're going to, we may go straight into the other demo. I don't know how we're going to do it yet, but at some point we're going to come back. We're going to tell you what this costs, um, time frame uh, to get it, uh, how we feel about it, the QC. Um, and we're going to give you all the information where you can order one of these too. Yep. All right, so we'll be right back. We're back. Yep, we're back. You got to hear it. 
got to hear uh, a little bit of the cleans on the unboxing video. We just went ahead to keep our ugly faces off the camera, kicked you straight into the uh, mix on it. You got to hear a little bit of it in a mix, a little bit more high gain. Um, so yeah, what do you, um, what's your overall take, man? It's really nice. Uh, it plays real smooth. It's just, it's what you would expect of right? something of this right? quality. Well, you know, we touched on this in another video, and if you're not, if you don't watch the channel all the time, I'm not going to go back into it, but you know, we, Lacello, uh, Reichardt, Ashwood, uh, Arda, and there's plenty more, but those four we have actually bought and reviewed, and those are one-man shows. Mm -hmm. And so I don't really get a whole, you know, I mean, I'm doing deep dives on the specs, but like that guy's business depends on every single guitar that goes out. And if he messes up a guitar, probably ain't got a business the next day. Yeah. And yeah. if that's your livelihood, to me, that makes it worth the wait and mm -hmm. a little bit of extra money because I know one person built my guitar, they took it from dirt. Yep. To what it is, and uh, they're going to be very meticulous about it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're not going to send it out the door until it's right. Yeah, no. One person said, "Let there be frets with this guitar." <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> All right, so um, we paid about thirty five hundred bucks for this. It did come from Italy. I, I think me and him kind of worked the deal out on late Monday evening towards Monday night. Um, he put everything in. It actually shipped Tuesday, and I had the dang thing Friday. That's not bad. And, you know, he said, oh, it'll be there by the end of the week. I'm like, no, it won't. Coming from Italy? <laughs> uh, we, that German one, man, it was like 19 days to get that guitar. It was a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that's because customs was being <laughs> yeah. weird. And hey, anytime it changes countries, you never know with customs. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, no, none of you guys are dumb, but if you don't know and you order from a different country, no matter what country it is you don't live in, Customs is going to charge you something when it comes across the border. So I think we paid an extra. We declared the full value of this in order to have the insurance on it. We didn't want it coming all the way across the pond without full insurance on it. And I think it was about an extra 200 bucks, which sucks. But hey, uh, it's good to know I'm do. keeping UPS in business. Yeah, right. <laughs> but hey, that's up to you. You can declare that value less. I mean, you roll the dice, but that's up to you. Um mm -hmm. We're, we're in this probably about 3700 with this 3500 to buy this guitar. Um, and I think it's worth every single penny, if not more. Yeah, there's so um, much definition and detail to this guitar. He really did a lot. Um, it, sometimes, you know, they'll do like a, a, a flamed maple on the neck or on the, uh, on the fretboard. But, I mean, this whole freaking guitar is flamed. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just about it. And I don't know. I don't know if you can see it, you know, on camera. But there's, there's so much kind of just cut away a little bit right there, and I love it. You don't really see th that too, too often on, you know, on guitars. And well, I, I a lot really of artists it. on these martyrs, a lot of artists. That's that's his that's his style. And another thing that I like, you probably can't really see, is that does go down and it's mm -hmm. cut out, but yeah. it also lips back up. Yeah, and that's so cool. There's a lip around the whole edge. Of the guitar and you know it gets gets a little thinner right here i, I appreciate that a lot because you know i sit down and play a lot um it just helps cup it you know right into you i yep. love it so like i said probably around 3500 3700 dollars to get one of these guitars there is usually a waiting list but hey this guy's on he's on facebook he's on ig uh he's on his website message you yeah. um you might get lucky you know what I mean? You might. Uh, that's what I did. I was persistent for over a year, and that's probably stupid of me to say that because I didn't commission him to make me a guitar <laughs> for six months, but I waited over a year to buy one. Uh, you know, right? <laughs> I was kind of dumb, but hey, always wanted an artist since I started reading about this cat man. Um, there's a few builders out there: Reichardt, Lucello, Ashwood, uh, Arda, KD. I haven't got a KD yet, <laughs> but uh, we're working on that. So those builders, man, um, I, I really feel like uh, anybody can build you a guitar, but I feel like those builders, those luthiers are on a different level. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, we have taken up way more of your time than we probably needed to. Uh, do yourself a favor, man. Jump on his website. Jump on his Instagram, Facebook. Follow him on any of those, man, and you get to see what he's doing. This guy's a little different. Most builders can build you anything. This guy's got... I don't even know how many it is, 30, 40 different designs. Uh, 
that he's already kind of got situated to where you can just call him. Now, obviously, I'm pretty sure you can change any of that, mm -hmm. um, but he's already got, and if you can't find a guitar in them 40, I don't know if they make a guitar for you, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. because he has every color, every finish, everything you could ever imagine. Um, just extremely impressed with this guitar and um, can't do it today. But, you know, this will be on my list, just like Reichardt, Ashwood, LaCello. Anytime I go to buy another guitar, that'll be the four that, you know, I call up until now to, to get a different guitar, you know, because, mm -hmm. man, we we put hands on these. We've touched them, man. The, the, the quality is impeccable. Yeah. It'd, it'd be nice to, you know, see what their six strings are like or, you know, something like that. So, well, we got lucky with LaCello. We got a six and a seven. Yeah. And Reichardt, we got a six. Well, he got a seven yet, but he's got that green eight string. Mm. Mm. You go buy that monster. Yeah, we don't have an eight yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen, guys, thanks so much for watching the channel, man. We are uh, we have three different series running at the same time. We both work day jobs, so it's kind of tough at times. We have the high gain series, which you're watching. We have the entry level metal series, which yep. is another series on our channel. And mm -hmm. uh, what we do is we buy what we feel like after doing the research, some of the best entry level guitars. Um, that actually function, sound good, play good, that aren't going to be a piece of junk when you get them. Uh, we bring them in on the channel. We buy them just like you guys do. We order them. Uh, we review them, and then we give them away. To you. Yeah. So if you watch our channel and you go to the Entry Level Series, I think there's three guitars up on there right now. Yeah, there should be three going right now. And we're ordering another one at the first of the week, and we got one coming in Tuesday. So that's going to be a continuing thing. Um, and we also do um, another series called Meet the Maker. Yep. And what we're doing is we're going back and we're interviewing these luthiers, um, you know, Skype, whatever you call it. We'll be doing, you know, over the air interviews with them. And we're going to sit down with them and probably get 20, 25 minutes with each luthier and let you actually meet them, see what drives them. Um, kind of what makes them do what they do. And that way, if you ever decide to sit down and order a guitar from one of these luthiers, you've got some sort of a essence of who they are. Yeah, yeah, you've got to kind of get to know them a little bit before you just kind of, like you said, just throw your money out there. So Reichardt, man, I have a feeling, I mean, uh, we did that interview with Reichardt, man, and I had so many comments on that, so many people, you know, a lot of people that already knew who Reichardt guitar was, but a lot of people was like, that was the coolest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Because all we're looking at online is, you know, a picture of a guitar. We yeah. don't know who's building the dang thing. We mm -hmm. got to see his shop, um, got to see some of his tools. He explained kind of his process on de dealing with wood and, and what he gets and what he stays away from. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, uh, it just makes the buying process a little bit better. You yeah. know, to me it does. All right, guys, thanks so much for being on the channel. We really appreciate you. Uh, make sure to turn in to, uh, tune into the other series, the Entry Level Metal Series and the Meet Your Maker Series. We're always going to have something going on on this channel. So until next time. Stay tuned.